G'day guys, welcome to my RX Wise feature video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about NRL's Round 23's recap preview for 2022 guys, so let's get started. So starting off with this first game of this match, we see the Rabbitohs going up against the Panthers now. 26 points to 22. The Panthers did win. Very close game this was. Absolutely very close. And I didn't think that um, the Panthers were obviously going to win this game. And they obviously did and made a really good mark um, in this match. And obviously, um, Jerome Luai did. Oh, well, no. I don't think Jerome Luai played in this game. But may have. But it's highly unlikely he did. But in this match... Wow, did I see some game? Did I see some performance in this game? Very tight, very close. And the Rabbitohs did come out with fight, hard position, and a very good, confident uh, team. But the Panthers are still very confident as they still um, are sitting on the first on the ladder. But what I do think about this game is, wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. In this match, very confident. This scoreline did happen. And I obviously was going to think that if the Rabbitohs were going to win, they obviously would. But that didn't happen. Because the Panthers were so confident into them that they were going to win um, in this game. And obviously, like, Stephen Crichton was my uh, man of the match in that game. But for him, it's obviously, um, he was going to play a very good game. And he, and he obviously did. So, yeah, well done from him. But, yeah, luckily, the Panthers did win against the Rabbitohs, 26-22. The next game of this match, we see the Cowboys going up against the Warriors. Now, this match was obviously going to be a very uh, good game, as other people think. Oh, um, the Warriors did play a very good game, but they obviously didn't. And for a fact, I thought for myself that the Cowboys were going to thrash the Warriors, and they obviously did. <sighs> but, well, well. Very big scoreline, 48 points to 4. I just think that the Warriors, they need help. Because they're another team like the Manly Seagulls, the Bulldogs, the West Tigers, and so on and so on. They're another team that are not very educated at the moment. And they're a team that just can't get like any wins at all unfortunately and they're a team that can't make a very good effort at all but for the Cowboys wow did I see some really good effort wow did I see some a big uh, scoreline in this game but for Tom Dearden, Peter Hiku Luciano Leilua, Chad Townsend all played a very epic game. I knew for a fact that since Scott Drinkwater too, he played a very good match. Uh, Tom Dearden, he played a very good game. Chad Townsend played absolute stunning. And for him, without him, Cowboys would just fall apart. But that game was obviously really big scoreline. 48 to 4. That was very epic. The next game of this match, we see the Broncos going up against the Melbourne Storm. Now, wow. Another big scoreline 60 points to 12. Broncos are another team that are falling behind. They need to aim up in their defense and their attack if they want to win games of football. But it's like they won't make an effort, unfortunately. They won't make an effort if they're going to keep doing that. 
But for the Melbourne Storm, wow, did I see some effort? Did I see some ball game? Young Tonamapia played an absolute stunning game. Uh, so did Nick Meany. So did um, Dave Nofaluma. And yeah, wow. Did I see some precision and pride. But in this match, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Big scoreline, as I did say in my other video. That... That match was absolute epic. And I also knew for a fact that the Broncos were going to win. And for precision and pride, this game took it to a whole, whole new level. I didn't expect this scoreline to happen. Because usually the Broncos play a stunning game of football. But they obviously just... Fall behind, struggled in that game, and they didn't make an effort at all. And for a fact that the Storm are a very a good team, I didn't think they were going to make a big scoreline for that to happen. But anyway, that game was obviously one of the most very good matches. And 60 points to 12, very epic scoreline that did happen. The next game of this match, we see the Eels going up against the Bulldogs now. Wow. Another game that I wasn't expecting. 42 points to 6. And for that game, took it to a whole new level. And obviously, that game was just absolutely unbelievable. But obviously for... Me and entertainers that did go to that game. We were just blessed by this game. That the Eels played one of the most incredible games of football. And just took it to a whole new level. And so, since I went to that game, go and check it out. RXYSV2, my channel. I obviously um, uploaded that, so yeah, go check it out. And obviously, Entertain House obviously uh, made a epic video, so go check him out too. I obviously went to that game. And for that match, <coughs> that just really surprised me, which I didn't think that the Paramount Eels were going to win. For a fact, they just blowed me away. And for Mitchell Moses and Dylan Brown playing an epic game, Jacob Arthur is be is no. Mitchell Moses is better than Jacob Arthur, and luckily for a fact that Jacob Arthur didn't play in this game, which I knew for a fact that. He didn't. Wow, 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 wow. But anyway, that game was an obviously a very good match. 42 points to 6. Stunning scoreline. Stunning game. Eels are a dream team. The next game of this match, we see the Manly Seagulls going up against the Cronulla Sharks. This game, another scoreline, 40 to 6. Wow. This game was just absolutely incredible by Cronulla Sharks. But for a fact, that for the Manly Seagulls, another team that aren't getting the job done, aren't attacking, aren't defending, without no Ruben Garrick, no Tom Trevojevic, Manly Seagulls are now gone. Manly Seagulls are now gone. They're just out now. They've let themselves, obviously, want um, the Manly Seagulls to um, basically lose. And for a fact that Telltale Cola played a fullback for the team, he's not a fullback. He is a winger. Or a centre. But he's not a fullback at all. 
So, Cronulla Sharks played a very good game, and for C.S. Suffer returning in that game, he played stunning. He played stunning football in that match. And for a fact that this game took it to a whole new level again, because big scoreline happened, incredible game that was, and I didn't think that in this match was going to be one of the most epic games of football. And for 40 points to 6, high scoreline, the Cronulla Sharks are an incredible team. So, yeah. Cronulla Sharks are a really good team, and obviously the Manly Seagulls did struggle. The next game of this match, we see the Roosters going up against the West Tigers. Now, wow. 72 points to 6. Big scoreline in this game. Big scoreline. Absolute one of the most epic games of football. And for a fact that the Roosters smashed the West Tigers. And for Brent Naden, obviously having that intercept try late. That just shows the West Tigers are a very poor team. A very poor team that they need to build in their... Um, team because obviously Brett Molly is working very hard trying his best to rebuild the West Tigers team and for a fact that the West Tigers are another um, huge problem that they need to rebuild because at the moment they're not playing any games of football they're just Terrible, confusing, and they're just a team that can't make an effort at all. So, in this match, well, did I see some effort? Did I see some performance happen? And for a fact that the Roosters played an epic game, 70, 72 to 6. One of the most biggest score lines in history. Wow. The West Tigers obviously let the uh, tries in. So, yeah, they're just another team that needs rebuilding. And the Roosters smashed the West Tigers in that game. The next game of this match, we see the Dragons going up against the Gold Coast Titans. Wow. Close scoreline this game was 46 to 26. This game was just really off the mark. The Dragons, they're all right, but they settle in a very bad move. Sometimes they can get a win, yes. Sometimes they play a really good match, but they. They don't really settle across the park, in my uh, prediction. But in this game, well, 46 to 26, close scoreline in that game, which I thought the Titans were going to come back and make a very big move, a very bad upset, in my opinion. But, in saying that, the Dragons are a very good team. They just sometimes don't settle and just let the opposition test themselves to obviously score um, for the opposition's team. So, what I think in this match, the Titans... Are a team that can obviously rebuild, yes. But for Jonathan Holbrook, he's not a bad coach, so I don't really rate him. Well, I presume. 
So, in this game, very close scoreline, very close game, and yeah, Dragons did beat the Titans 46 to 26. And finally, the next game of this match, we see the Knights going up against the Raiders. Now, wow. Wow, wow. The Knights have played an epic game of football in the first half. But for the second half, the Raiders took it to a whole, whole new level. Because... 28 to 22 in this game. The Knights basically screwed it up in the second half. And for one of the most biggest comebacks in the game, which I thought the Raiders weren't going to win in that match. Because obviously 22 to 22 did tie up. But in the second half, last couple of minutes, the Raiders came back and scored in the last minute. Wow. That really blowed my mind. <clears throat> and for the Raiders, they're a team that aren't really good of a team. And sometimes they do struggle, yes. They struggle big time. And for that perform and for that performance the Raiders played hard. They played with fight and precision. And for that game to obviously took it to a whole new level, the Raiders played a stunning performance. And for the Knights, they did play hard, did play soft, but they're just a team that can't win games of football at all. Thanks guys for watching this video guys. Stay tuned for more. I'll be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon. Also I'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon. So stay tuned for more. Plus leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then take care guys. Stay safe and have a good one. Plus let's get the 300 subscribers for seeing on. 274 anyway, so let's go up to that, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.